Welcome to the show with Sean Kelly. I'm Pete Francis. And Sean, what an unbelievable series win by the Wildcats this weekend. It sure was. The Wildcats came out and played with great intensity. They were very physical. And they didn't start the way they wanted to on Friday night. But uh, in the end, they got the job done. Um, on Friday night, Miami scored first. And they jumped out to two quick goals in the first period. Uh, the Wildcats would cut the lead to one in the second with a goal from Justin Florek. And the Wildcats appeared to have tied the game up late in the third with about three minutes to go, but the goal will be waved off on an apparent penalty call on Ben Lindemulder. Uh, the Wildcats would go on to score another goal, but Miami capitalized on their power play at that point for a 3-2 to two victory on Friday night. The Wildcats came out Saturday with their backs against the wall, and Miami struck first um, on a goal by Mealy. Uh, Jared Brown tied it for the Wildcats with about five minutes left in the first. Nick Sirota gave Northern the lead in the second, but that would only last 29 seconds as the Miami Redhawks would tie it up. There was no scoring in the third. The game would go to overtime, and in overtime, about five minutes in, Gregor Hansen, the Swede, puts it home and forced the game three. On Sunday night, the game really started off on a bad note for the Wildcats. Andrew Chernichin got a five-minute major early in the game for checking from behind, and he was lost for the duration of that game. During that five-minute power play, Mark Olver scored a big shorthanded goal, which changed the momentum and the outcome of the game. Mike Maltese added the goal in the second period. Brian Stewart came up big in the third with 20 saves, and the Cats would hold on to win 3-1. to one. Yeah, talk more about the play of Brian Stewart, Sean. He's just been incredible lately. He has. Brian Stewart has just been playing amazingly well. Uh, he has now 11 postseason wins. Hopefully he can get a few more here this year. Uh, he had 41 saves on Sunday, including that 20 in the third period. Uh, 39 saves on Saturday and 37 saves on Friday for a total of 117 saves on the weekend. And for the season against Miami, he recorded 206 saves. Wow. Besides the uh, great play of Brian Stewart, what else did the Cats do well this weekend? Um, you know, they played very physical. They played their style of hockey. They controlled most of the game down in Miami on Sunday, which is very important on a game three, which with, for a young team made up of mostly sophomores that are doing the scoring is what you want. Um, like I said, the sophomores are really playing well. Jerry Brown, Mark Olver, and... They're, they're really scoring goals and putting them home. And uh, the, uh, the Swede connection is working very well, Gustafson and Hansen. Yeah, one thing that really stuck out to me, Sean, I thought was the play of the defense. This is a banged-up defense without T.J. Miller, Alan Dorch, and then Andrew Fernandez on Sunday. That's right. Andrew Fernandez went down to an injury on Saturday. His status for the game this weekend, the games this weekend, is unclear right now. Um, but the, the defense really played very well this weekend. They dug down deep. And they came away and they played their style of defensive hockey against a very offensively minded Miami Redhawks team. Well now, Sean, Notre Dame, the number one team in the nation, awaits the Cats in the semifinals. And uh, this is a team that beat the Cats in all four regular season meetings. Uh, but the beauty of the CCHA playoffs in Detroit, Sean, is you only have to beat a team once. That's right. We only have to beat Notre Dame one time this year. Notre Dame plays a very physical and defensively minded game, but they can also score. They have a, a great goaltender in Jordan Pierce. He's one of the best in the country. It's going to be very tough to get on the board against him. The Cats are going to have to play physical, their style of defensive hockey, pick their chances to score and, you know, get on the board and hold the lead and just hold them off. Should be fun to watch the Cats this weekend in Detroit, and we'll be there this weekend, Sean. We'll have video updates on our website, catchattv.org, so check that out throughout the weekend. And speaking of Detroit, that's where the NCAA Tournament Final Four will take place, and we'll have a preview of the NCAA Tournament coming up next. Stay with us.